Hello boys and girls, it is lesson study time with Sister King. Are you ready? If you are, give yourself a big clap. Great job. Well boys and girls, welcome to the kindergarten lesson. We are on lesson number one. Awesome. And the name of our lesson this week is called Wake Up Little Girl. Let us pray to begin. So bow your heads, close your eyes. After praying, we will say our message and memory verse. Then we will sing the song, He is able, he is able. Our Father who art in heaven, as we gather together to learn about you, please send the Holy Spirit to meet us here. Help all of the boys and girls to listen attentively and to retain what they hear. And help that the seeds planted here will continue to guide the boys and girls throughout their entire lives. This is my prayer in Jesus' wonderful name of thanksgiving. Amen. Our message is, we serve God when we pray for the sick. Let us say that another time. We serve God when we pray for the sick. Our memory verses, I pray that you may enjoy good health. 3 John verse 2. Let us say that one more time. I pray that you may enjoy good health. 3 John verse 2 It's mission story time! Are you ready for the mission story? Do you have your mission offering? We serve God when we pray for the sick in all the different countries of the world. We also serve God when we give Him our offerings. Now, let us listen to the mission story, then the lesson study.
I'm a snooker inventor and I've been selling this from the age of 13 and now I am just about to be 40. It's a sugary liquid on ice and with milk. It's the best thing in the Caribbean. Meet Wesley, a snow cone vendor in Trinidad and Tobago. Each day except Saturday, he wakes up early to grind ice before leaving for work. Then he slowly pedals his cart through the quiet streets of Felicity to sell his icy fare. However, Wesley isn't a regular snow cone vendor. He also ministers to people's physical and spiritual needs. Because that is what I really deem it a privilege to be. To bring hope to the hopeless. To bring encouragement to those that are discouraged. To bring fulfillment to those that are empty. And more so to bring life to those who are dying without Christ. Felicity is a rural sugarcane and rice plantation community. But even in this peaceful town are painful stories. Young children with little food to eat, men afflicted by illness, and families struggling to stay together. Wesley helps provide food, clothing, and other basic necessities for those in need. He also offers counseling to the families he meets. On one occasion, Wesley spent two days handing out free snow cones to 400 children in the area. He does all this to serve a greater purpose. Sometimes people would stop me on the street, we would pray right there, we would enter their home, we would scripture, we will even give them words of encouragement and even invite them to church. He's the best person to give them all the support. Believe him. I tell him. Best person. Because I don't know, everybody else just has some strings attached to it. And you just do it without anything. Right? You just feel it when talking to Wesley, it's very different. Even though this neighborhood is made up of people from other world religions, Wesley has earned the respect of the community. Today, he offers physical and spiritual support to more than 30 families. Through this snow cone ministry, the local Adventist church has had many new visitors. Please pray for Wesley's ministry, that God continues to use him and others in Trinidad and Tobago for his work. I, I want to say this job that I have is the best job I can even say in the world because it helps me to meet people and to tell people about the love of Jesus. Thank you for supporting Mission. Hello, boys and girls. This is Aunt Fernita, and I have a wonderful story for you called Wake Up, Little Girl. Today's memory verse is from 3 John, verse 2. It says, I pray that you may enjoy good health. The message for today's story is is we serve God when we pray for the sick. Jarius was an important man. He had an important job at the local synagogue. But that didn't matter and it really didn't help. His daughter was sick and nothing anyone could do was making her well. But Jarius knew there was one person who could help. He had heard about the miracles Jesus could do. He had heard that Jesus could make people well. So Jarius went to find Jesus. Jarius found Jesus with a crowd of people at Levi Matthew's house. He pushed his way to where Jesus was and fell down at Jesus' feet. My little daughter is dying, Jarius cried. Please, Jesus, come put your hands on her so she will be healed and live. But before they got there, a man came running towards them through the crowd. Don't bother Jesus anymore, the man said to Jarius. I'm so sorry, but your daughter died a few minutes ago. But Jesus didn't pay any attention. Don't be afraid, he said to Jarius. I can make her better. When they reached the house, people were crying and they were wailing loudly. Well, Jesus sent them all outside. Only Jarius and his wife and three of Jesus' helpers were allowed to go into the house with Jesus. The little girl was lying on her bed. Her eyes were closed, and she was very, very still. Jesus took her by the hand and said, Little girl, listen to me. Get up. And all of a sudden, the little girl started to breathe. Her eyes opened, and she sat up and smiled. Jesus smiled, too. Then he turned to the little girl's mother and said, Please give her something to eat. Jarius and his wife were so happy. 
Jesus had listened to Jairus' cry for help. He had come even though everyone said it was too late. And now their little girl was alive again, and they were so glad that they had asked Jesus for help, and they were so happy that he had listened. They were thrilled to have their little girl alive and well again. Jesus loved that little girl, and he loved her mommy and daddy too. He was happy to listen to them. And you know what, boys and girls? Jesus loves you too. He always listens to you when you talk to him in prayer. This podcast was brought to you by gracelink.net and Studio El Piso. For more children's resources, please visit gracelink.net. Boys and girls, it's question time. What did you learn from the mission story? Tell mommy or daddy what you have learned. I have two questions for you. Give mommy or daddy the answer. Question number one. After Jesus came and made her well, how did you feel? And question number two. Does Jesus listen when we pray? Remember our message and memory verse? Let us say them together. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loved me. Oh, hi boys and girls. You found me praising the Lord. I love this song so much. It starts by saying, there is a name I love to hear. Oh, boys. Boys and girls, come on. What's the sweetest name you know? Yes, the name of Jesus. And oh, how I love Jesus. Do you love him? I hope you do. Do you say his name regularly? Do you pray? Boys and girls, remember what the Bible says in the book of Acts, chapter 4 and verse 12. It tells us that there is no other name under heaven given to man by which they might be saved. What this verse is saying, boys and girls, is that that name of Jesus is mighty. It is great. It will help you when you are in problems. It will make the devil run away from you when the devil knows that you love Jesus. And yes, you should love Jesus because he first loved you. Keep the name of Jesus with you every day. Pray every day, boys and girls. All right, we'll see you. Bye. Well, boys and girls, we have come to the end of this week's lesson study. Let us shout out the number of our lesson study after the count of three. One, two, three. Lesson number one. Let us shout out the name of our lesson after the count of two. One, two. Wake up, little girl. Our message is... We serve God when we pray for the sick 
And our memory verse is, I pray that you may enjoy good health. 3 John verse 2. Now, bow your heads, close your eyes. We will say our closing prayer. Loving Father in heaven, thank you so much for this lesson study. Thank you for hearing us when we pray for the sick. Please bless each person who took the time to listen and let your hand of protection be on them throughout the rest of the week. Keep us safe until we meet again in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. Bye, boys and girls. Keep shining for Jesus. Remember to pray for the sick. Jesus loves you.